welcome to all today i am going to tell you about the jdbc uh, what is jdbc whenever you want to connect to your database with the help of your java code you need some classes and functions which are written in java and uh, those functions with the help of those function when you connect to the database that is called jdbc okay so let's start so uh, usually I create a normal Java project, but uh, nowadays in uh, in my channel subscriber are saying that uh, that uh, please uh, Pradeep use the Maven uh, thing to create the Java project. Yeah, uh, everybody is using the Maven project nowadays. Even we are using the single uh, jar for that. So uh, so for Java database uh, connectivity code, uh, I have already created a Java file Java DB, and this is the Maven project. So let me show you that for Java database, what jar you have to include in your project okay so in your project uh you have to include a jar that is called uh my sql connector so here i'm just taking the example of my sql connector but actually it totally depends on the database it totally depends on the database which you want to connect with the help of your java code in my example i am showing you how to connect to the MySQL database. So if you want to connect to the MySQL SQL database, simply you have to add it, add this dependency. You can get this dependency from the uh, Maven repository also. Okay. So this is MySQL, MySQL connector, and I'm using the uh, database, uh, MySQL database with the uh, version of uh, 5.138. So same I've used here. Okay. So if you want to get it from the Maven repository, simply go and you can type here Maven. Uh, MySQL, MySQL uh, dependency, you can see dependency, you can write it. And when you go to here, you will get this dependency and uh, uh, you can choose it according to your version, whatever database you are, you are trying to connect. Uh, whatever code I'm going to tell you, the same code will be applicable for other type of database like you want to connect with the Oracle also. Uh, so in that case also, you can use the uh, same code. I will tell you that what, what will be the difference. Okay. So now uh, this is, uh, you can say here, you can get, uh, for example, whatever you want to get, you can just copy this dependency here and just paste in your code, paste in your pom.xml. So I have just uh, pasted it here. Okay. Uh, before writing a code, let me show you my database also that is already stored in my machine. And I can show you that uh, uh, I can show you that uh, it is uh, uh, it contains a uh, database that is Pradeep and it contains a table student. So I'm trying to fetch a record, particular record, uh, select star from STUD student where ID where ID equal to uh, it contains a uh, column ID equal to 20. So I'm going to run it. So you can see it is it has just uh, displayed the record. It has the required ID twenty uh, name is M A N age is ninety and subject is J B. So uh, uh, the I have just uh, uh, run the query on the uh, SQL. Yoke. It is a you can say client. It is a database client uh, for the MySQL. So now I will show you that same uh, record, same query I will fire, same query I will run through my Java code. So let come to the Java file. So already I've told you about that this dependency which I have already added in case of my Oracle, you can add the dependency according to the Oracle database and any database we are using. Now come to the code. In your code, uh, I have just created a, a Java file uh, with the name of Java DB and here this is public static void main uh, function. So first of all, when you are going to, uh, when you are going to write the Java code, you will see that four things are very important. Four things are very important, which you need when you are going to connect with the database. So these are the four things. First thing is that DB driver, DB driver. What is the DB driver? Actually, what happens that uh, DB driver totally depends on uh, from uh, which database you want to connect. Okay. If you want to connect with the MySQL, your DB driver will uh, give the name of the, you can say class, which contains the functions to connect to the MySQL. In the same way, when you want to try, uh, when you want to connect to the Oracle database, this driver, this driver will equal whatever is written here. You will give the name of the class, which is available for the Oracle. 
Okay, so in current uh, in current scenario, you can say I'm just given the name of driver. Driver is nothing. Driver is just the name of the class which is available in the. Uh, you can say jar. I've already you uh, can see I have already uh, downloaded this jar with the help of uh, power. Uh, you can say Maven, and it contains this class. Okay, so in your case, if you are kind of trying to connect with the Oracle, so you have to include the uh, dependency of the Oracle, and here you will mention, and then you can get it easily on the internet. What will is the name of the driver? Okay. Now the second thing is that now the second thing is that uh, DB URL. Now second thing is that uh, DB URL. What is the DB URL? Again, DB URL is uh, actually you can say it is a, a complete URL which is telling you that which database you want to connect. What is the what is the IP of your uh, database? Means on which server it is running, and uh, what is the name of your database? So in my case, you can say JDBC MySQL. This is telling that I want to connect with the uh, J, uh mysql and it is running on uh, currently it is running on my local machine so i have written it local host okay if uh, you are trying to connect with database that is in your network uh, but it is uh, on any other machine you can give the ip or name of your machine and here is the port in a, uh, in every machine whenever any software run whenever any software run it runs on a particular port okay so uh, in my machine it is running on 3306 port. So it is the name of the port. And what is this? This is the name of the database. I have shown you this is my database, Pradeep. Okay. In Pradeep, we have a table student. Okay. So now this fourth thing is uh, second uh, second thing is DB URL. First thing is DB, uh, DB driver. And third thing is DB user. Means whenever you try to connect, you have seen that whenever you try to connect with the manually also, you need a uh, username for that. So in my current scenario, whatever database, MySQL database that is stored in my machine, Pradeep, uh, Pradeep database, the username is root and for that the password is Pradeep. So you need these four information. Okay. DB driver, DB URL, DB user and DB password. Now after that, after that, what you have to do, you need a class. You need a class that is connection class there is a connection class here and you can see here when i click on it you can click on the import also here you can see there are so import connection java.sql com.mysql jdbc also you can choose this one okay this one don't go with other you can choose java.sql okay so now uh, you got this uh, connection class also okay what next you have to do that is very very important that's once you have created the reference of the connection class you you have to call this line of code that is called class class is itself the name of a class in java there is a class and the name of that class is class and it contains a function for name and it contains the function for name so in this for name function you have seen that i pass the db driver okay so i pass the db driver so what is the main uh, you can say uh, this question is frequently asked in many interview that what is the purpose of this line actually what happens that uh, this is the name of the class actually here you can say this is a package com mysql jdbc dot driver it is a package and the name of the class is driver so actually here you have given the name of the class complete name of the class in in the form of a string it is in the form of a string so if you want to load this class if you want to load this when you will load this uh, class then only you can use those functions okay so if you want to load any class which is actually given in the form of string in that case this class is used class dot for name and you are passing this string here db driver it means at runtime what it will do it will automatically load this class which is available in your jar which is available in your this jar this is available in the jar it will load it and after that you can easily connect to the database so it is giving the error so let me click. So here, uh, usually you should use the surround with try catch. Okay, well, that is the best practice. But uh, for the time make, let me uh, click on add fields. Okay, but the best practice is that whenever you are getting any, uh, you can say exception, uh, uh, you should deal with that exception. Okay, you should deal with that exception. Now after that, what you have to done? Uh, after class dot for name, uh, you have a connection here. You can say you have a connection object or reference. You can say you can call a function. Connection equal to driver manager. Driver manager, you can say driver manager there is a class and you can call a function get connection. And in the get connection, you have to pass three things DB URL, whatever DB URL, and this is DB user and this is DB password. Again, it is giving the error for import. So let me click on import java.sql. Okay. 
again it is giving the error for the exception so again i have told you that you should use the surround word try catch that is the best practice but i want to show you the clean code that's why i'm using the at pro so it is uh, just you can say i've just uh, used the sql exception here now you have connected with the uh, you can say now when this line uh, this line of code will run it will actually make a connection with your database now thing is that uh, you have make a connection with the database and this is the connection object so now you are ready to uh, you can say uh, run your queries so uh, for that purpose let me create a, a simple string uh, a string q1 and within the string i have just written the query select a star from uh, uh, student where id equal 20 so actually i'm trying to run the same query which i have shown you on your on your uh, this you can say on your direct sql so uh, so i'm trying to run the same query here okay now the question is that you have a connection object you have written the query okay so now this query is written in a you can say string format as uh, string q1 equal to so how this query can be run on your this database connection okay so how it is possible you can say then you make connection dot con whatever object is of connection con dot create a statement so actually with the help of this statement you are telling that i want to create a statement means i want to you are telling that i want to create a query i want to run a query so for that purpose you use this line connection dot create a statement and it is stored in the statement reference so let me uh, again say java reference so now with the help of actually what happens that uh, here you have created a connection and now with the with the connection you are saying that i want to run a query i want to run a query and what is your query what is your query query is actually you can say query is already q1 so now when you created this stmt this is the you can say uh, object which is going to help you to send a query so now is this stmt contains a function execute query in execute query you can pass the query this q1 i have passed it here it means with the help of this statement uh, object i'm saying that please run my query and whatever will be the result that will be stored in this uh, class that is called results so what will happen all the you can say result all the result all the results when this query will run when this will run it will actually run the query on your database whatever uh, you have mentioned in your connection object and it will return the all the data in the results it means result set contains result set contains your all the data now the thing is that how you can how you can return the data here how you can get the data from here so first of all what you have to do this is rs rs is the result set object you have created so first of all you have to write a code if rs not equal to null means i am trying to fetch a single query so i am just checking a condition that is the good practice i am checking a condition rs is not equal to null means if there this query when this query will run really it is fetching some result or not uh, why i am writing this writing this thing reason is that suppose take the example select star from a student where id equal to 20 i am writing but there is no record in the database with the id 20 so it will not return anything so so if for that case in that case i am writing if not equal to null means if really it is returning the data in that case i am right uh, going to write the code within the you can say uh, uh, within the you can say uh, within the you can say uh, if block okay now now in the, within this uh, uh, i am going to write a special thing here you can say while rs dot next i can write the simply i can get the record also but why i am writing rs dot next uh, now again the uh, uh, just understand same thing that here i know that id is a unique field in the database id is a unique field in the database but now uh, just suppose that if you are writing a query which can return multiple uh, multiple data you can say multiple record in that case what will happen if you want to fetch all the records in that case you should write while rs dot next means you have to run a loop till the time you are uh, getting the records you are getting the records from the database in my case definitely because id 20 is a unique thing so i will get only one record in that case this while loop will run only once okay so when this uh, within this while loop you will get the record now i'm going to write the simple thing that whatever data you want to return so i will get the data in this rs so rs will actually get the data rs will contain the data so i have to, i have to write rs dot get int id why i'm writing rs dot get int means from this result set whatever result is returned here from that you want to get the integer id 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 column you want to integer okay you can see match it here also in my table you can say i have columns here you can say this one id int name where care is 
uh, int 11 and subject bracket. So whatever data, whatever data you want to fetch it here, uh, there is a function for that. If you want to get the any integer thing, you can call the function results at rs.getint. If you want to return some, uh, you can say string value. For example, I want to return this one, name, name column value. So I will write rs.get string. So it depends on that, that what type of value you want to return. Okay, so I have written the ID, I have written the, uh, you can say name in the same way I can return uh, the, you can say uh, age value, I can return the subject value. Also. Okay, so now this is the complete code for that. Okay, so let me run it and uh, then I will, then I will show you the result. Okay, let me run it. Now you can see the result here. This is the, you can say ID, ID, this is uh, name, this is age. And this is the subject. You can see the same thing which we are fetching from directly from the DB uh, using my uh, database client. Same code you are getting from it. So here, uh, the important thing is that actually this program is very, very common. Everybody, most of the person know it. But the thing is that in the interviews, in the good interviews, like if you are going to give interviews like uh, in uh, good companies, IBM, Oracle, Micro, something like that, they actually try to understand that you know the meaning of each and every line or not. Okay, so I'm just, uh, you can say, explain in short again that for connecting any database in Java, you need four things like one is DB driver. What is the mean of DB driver? Which class contains the functions to connect to the database? So it is a specific to the, it is a specific to the database. For In my case, it is my, my you can say my uh, SQL. So I'm using this one. So if you want to connect with other database, you can get it from the internet that I want to connect what will be the uh, driver for that. DB URL is again, it, it is specific. Uh, it is contains the parts like this part is connected, telling that I want to connect with the MySQL. This is telling where your database exists. In my case, it exists in local uh, machine. So that's why I've written local host. It is the port. Uh, in some cases, in some uh, machine companies, uh, you can say database run on different ports. So you have to give the and uh, give the port according, accordingly. And this is the name of your database. These two things are uh, your credential for your database, username, password. Then you create a connection object with the uh, this connection object. You are actually uh, trying to connect with the database. So for connecting, actually the name of the function which uh, provide you connection that is called get connection. And this function is available in this driver manager class. So in driver manager class, you got a get connection function and you pass three things, db URL, db user and password. And when it connects, to the database. Actually, when this line will run, it will connect to the database and it will give you the control in terms of reference of con. Now, with the help of this connection con object, you can uh, fire your queries to the database. Okay. So this is my query. Then I, with the help of this con, I, first of all, I make a statement means I want to, you are telling with the help of Java that I want to run this particular query. I want to run this particular statement. So con dot create a statement is creating a statement for you trying to create a statement connection for you. Okay, and that I store in the ST, uh, STMT and in the STFT you are saying that, oh, now run my query. So the, in the ST, uh, STMT there is a function that is called execute query. In execute query you pass Q1 and it run your result. When the result will be run, it will res, uh, return in the result set class. And now you have checked that it is not null. It is not null means it contains that it, it means uh, when this query run, it is actually got some data then you are trying to print it. So you can print it. And now with the help of uh, uh, result set RS, you can get your data, get in and you can give the name of a column. So, okay, if it is an integer, you can give it. Otherwise you can give string lines. So in this way, you can uh, run, uh, you can connect with your, any database with the help of Java code. Okay. I hope uh, you understand it clearly and now you can explain it properly in your interviews also. Okay. So uh, if you like my video, you can comment on it. If you have not subscribed my channel till now, you can subscribe it. And one important thing is please don't forget to click on uh, click on that uh, bell icon so that you can watch and get the intimations of my uh, such more videos. Thank you.